Hi everyone, I am Ashok Kumar. In this episode, let us learn some Android Studio shortcuts and a little more productivity. So this is a simple hello world program, nothing big in it. But we are not really focusing on programming here, but we are focusing making programming easier in this episode. So we all have used log for checking out whether our data has uh, triggered or did we downloaded the JSON data or we use log for many scenarios in our programming process. But how do we make it much more simpler? So beginners gets intimidated by advanced users uh, programming way because you know they have all shortcuts assembled on their Android Studio and they are very quickly they'll be doing some things that beginners cannot notice that easily. It's no big deal end of the day. It's just matter of your experience on the same. So one, one fine day I was programming and I took very less time and my friend who is beginner in Android, he got intimidated and he said, whoa, how fast you do, how, and how, how can you able to do like that? So it was very simple. I know a lot of custom shortcuts, which makes my work easier. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple of shortcuts which are inbuilt and which is cool stuff to know. So log t is one which populates the class name uh, to a tag string and where we can use this in our uh, log uh, dot d methods and log class. So we all know we write log dot d for debug string and we'll take that tag and we'll add some string and we'll pass this string saying Android ABCD is fantastic. And whenever Android app opens and this string will display in the log cat. So here we see it. So I have another easy method. If you guys are inside the method, use log m so that it populates the entire method name with the argument of that method. So this is the method argument, which is parameter with that. And you can even play with that object as well to string and you can do a lot of stuff. So this is one good thing. And one more thing is, so suppose you guys need uh, on resume uh, method, but you guys have typed on restart, or you guys even want to uh, restore instant state. If you guys press tab here, everything gets populated automatically. It's one word typing on res and tab. So a oh, pretty interesting thing. It comes handy. And there are a lot of other shortcuts for logging, which could be log D, which directly goes to debug thing. And log M is method which we have already seen. Log i, which is log dot i method. Log e, which is erroneous messages. So all this, we can use all this stuff. Okay, so now we have learned something. But how do we create a custom shortcut? That's super simple. I have a lot of custom shortcuts configured. I'll show you guys how you can also do it. So go to preferences in your machine. So don't worry about platform. Even if it's Windows, Linux, it doesn't matter. So go to preferences, search for key map. So that's it. Here in search, say suppose you guys want to uh, have a shortcut for Gradle sync. So search Gradle here. You guys see? 
so now gradle related you have all this now here click on it now you can add a keyboard shortcut or a mouse shortcut but I'll suggest to add a keyboard shortcut now I'm pressing command control uh, P command control P is my sync shortcut now now I'll apply I'll go here and I'll type something so that my shortcut will work I'll show you how it works hi there control command P see shortcut is working similarly you can go to the same place and you can figure out every simple every possible operation that you do in your Android studio and you can customize it very easily if you want a mouse shortcut like four times click save the project and quit the Android studio you can do that so a lot of customizations you can do I hope this episode helps you a lot thank you for watching please do like my videos and subscribe to my channel for more good Android contents